Hi, my name is Sarah Ray. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss the overview of Hysteria album. If you want to know all about our Def Leppard albums and um, what we're doing in terms of Def Leppard Saturdays, I will leave a link to our Def Leppard playlist in the description box down below so you guys can get all caught up on our Def Leppard goodies and what we're doing. Um, we checked out High and Dry, Pyromania, and all of Hysteria's songs so um, you guys can get caught up. But today we're going to talk about Hysteria and um, what I thought about it. So with that out of the way, you guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notification of when I upload. and. Um, let's start talking about it. Welcome to the overview of Hysteria album by Def Leppard. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is tell you guys what songs I checkmarked. So, those are the songs that I really liked. Beginning first is Woman, Animal, Love Bites, Pour Some Sugar On Me, Armageddon It, Gods of War, Run Riot, Hysteria. I'm declaring right now, if you don't like Hysteria, you are not a Def Leppard fan. Excitable and Love and Affection. Those are the songs I really liked. Which means those, there's only two songs I didn't like. High and Dry, there was only two songs I didn't like. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to give you guys two facts. I just thought that that would be kind of um, interesting. Um, so the first one is that Hysteria is the rock version of Thriller by Michael Jackson. I am a huge Michael Jackson fan. Um, so, which means anytime you ask me what my thought is when it comes to the best Def Leppard album is, I'm going to say Hysteria. But, I'm giving you know you know you'll have to see what I choose next week okay the other is that there are six songs on this album that charted I do not know off Hand what those six songs are. I didn't look them up beforehand. I just know there are six songs. So now, what I thought of this album. Um, it was incredible, first of all. Very um, beautifully done, well done, wow. Um, it really pushed the envelope of rock. I do have to say that. Um, so opening with woman I think was a great idea so you're opening with a song that is very um, dark and inviting so it's inviting you into the album And uh, Rocket has that same theme, I mean not the dark theme, but has the same um, instruments that Woman does, so it keeps it kind of going. Pour Some Sugar On Me is that big hit, kind of like Thriller, 
everybody knows pour some sugar on me if you don't know rock if you're not a big rock fan if you don't know Def Leppard you know pour some sugar on me so that is a big thing on this album I think is a great song on this album um, I do think love and affection is a great way to end this album very soft and um, almost like a ballad type um, great way to end this song you don't want to end it well I mean you can end it anyway but for this song you're and you're opening it very inviting and you're closing it very soft so I think that's a great way for this album so um, they have some very interesting songs like um, a few songs that are kind of more on the religious side um, more enlightenment like woman can kind of be interpreted with um, more like godlike religious like ways um, hysteria we talked about um, being more enlightenment than um, romantic uh, some of these songs are about um, sex and uh, one night stands and we got I have well a lot of these songs are about that so um and then run riot I mean That song can be interpreted any way you want to. I mean, I interpret it completely different than probably most people, but, um, and then the, the instruments and the way the songs are done. Um, it just really pushes the rock envelope. Uh, incredible. I do want to like again point out Pour Some Sugar On Me um, being the big hit on this album. Again, um, pointing it as the thriller on this album because when this album came out everybody was saying they were tired of the song because it was played a lot. Well when Thriller came out, Thriller was played a lot. Well, so was Billie Jean and Beat It. So. Then if you look at this song, Hysteria was probably played a lot. So was Love Bites. So. Um. As a whole, just incredible. Wow. I feel like if I had to give a vibe like how I said High and Dry was a um, balls to the wall rock at its core type okay um Hysteria would be kind of a, I don't know, rock, experimental rock, I'd have to say. But it works. It works. They did it right.
I also have to say, um, you know, with what happened to Rick Allen and his accident, them not giving up on him and creating these drums for him to play on. And how they managed to, while he was out, on some of the songs, work with him. Like previous work he done. And then work he did after. You know, just working with him, being patient with him is incredible. It turned out they did the right thing. by being a family. I do have to say that. And uh, Rick Allen is truly the Thunder God. <laughs> he really is. Um, and they're all incredible. Please don't think that I'm not saying that the rest of them aren't incredible. Okay, um, Sav is amazing on bass and the Terra Twins, you know I love Steve Clark to death. Um, and uh, Phil is amazing. God, he is incredible on that guitar. and. And I know I don't give um, Joe Elliott enough credit, but he is the voice of this this band. Okay, <laughs> there without them and without Mutt Lang, without Mutt Lang, this wouldn't be it. Okay, without all of them. This project wouldn't be it. So, without Mutt Lang's belief in them, I mean, he saw something in them. And we all see it. We're fans of them. So we see what's in them. We see what Mutt sees. All these albums, High and Dry, Pyromania, Hysteria, and I'm sure On Through the Nights, it's in there, and I'm sure, I, I don't know about the rest of the albums because I'm big on Steve Clark, but It's there. So. It's incredible. So. I love it. Chef's kiss. Clap. Next week, uh, I'm going to give you guys my top, my, um, not top three because there's only three, um, my, um, ranking of these three. And then I'm going to give you guys the ranking of 
Vitaly. Now, again, like I said in the video that I did before this, the other video, um, you guys, make sure you comment what you think is the best album so I can give you guys the tally because next week I'm going to give you guys my ranking and your other guys' tally ranking. Also, did you guys hear that Def Leppard's coming out with a new album later this year? Are you excited? Because I am. I'm going to have to go through it, so make sure you guys are ready when it comes out. And, uh... I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and uh, after the tally after next week we're gonna go on to on through the night and then after on through the night we're gonna do adrenalize so make sure you guys put your uh, tallies in put your uh, comments in so, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!